All right, you guys. It looks like we're gonna go, go straight to the mines, kids. Oh, who's this? What the heck is going on here? Who's this guy? Ah, hey, don't run away, my friend. Don't be scared. Although you are, you look scary. <laughs> what the heck was that? And what is going on, my beautiful people of planet Earth? Snack here. Look at that. We are now on our first day of winter. I can't wait, man. Cause you know what? We can do a lot of things. Although we are not able to plant uh, seeds, but uh, well, let me just check it out. Oh, we have 500 gold from Mr. Mayor. Ah, so we are the best neighbor of the month. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, you guys are so sweet. So although we're not able to plant seeds, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we could get a lot of tasks to do. Like, uh, let's see. So it's going to be the great time to do some mining, fishing, and gathering, and also upgrade some tools in preparation for a productive spring. Or we could also uh, build our farm, stock up resources, upgrade, and prepare for the next year. And look at that, guys. Our farm. Our fridge is full of fresh fish, some cakes, and eggs. And I gotta say that the my most favorite soundtrack of Stardew Valley is Winters. It, I mean, it just puts me in this special place in my mind. It makes me so happy and relaxed as well. Let's say hi to our chickens. Hello. Hello, chickens. Hope you're not cold. Are you doing well? Oh, maybe we could invest a heater from Marnie's, right? Yeah, that, that, that this will make our chickens so happy. And cozy as well. They're gonna love it. Hey, look at that. We have a book. Jack be nimble. Jack be thick. We Oh, we will gain one uh, defense from that. Defense or de defense? I think defense. And uh, poop. We learned a new power. And also, I can't wait to see the people's outfit for winter. I wonder what Leia's is. My darling Leia. <laughs> And wow, this is so beautiful. Look at oh, okay. Ah, uh, there are still grasses, man. Uh, I think I was not able to disable the grass mod. That's fine. It's already here. Maybe I'll just dis disable it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it's fine. There should be no grasses because it's winter. But I'm glad that there are still some fruits here at our bat cave. Oh, the bats are kind of creepy. Wait, let me check. Uh, let me check my mod. I, I, I don't like the grasses in the winter because I want it to be as realistic as possible. And I want a bit of a challenge. That's why I made a silo. All right, everyone. I can't seem to figure out. I cannot figure out where uh, what, what mod is enabling this, these grasses to grow. Please guys, if you know, please help me out in the comments. Now let me just show you the mods that I've installed. There's just few of them. So here it is. These are the mods that I've installed. You can pause the video. So up to Ellie's seasonal building and then I'll, I'll do, I'll uh, scroll it down again. Okay, here's the second uh, page. All right, up to uh, vanilla tweaks farming and then I'll scroll down again. Please help me out and up to here. Okay, so I would really appreciate in advance, guys, if you can tell me which mod that I need to disable the grass uh, growing during winter. Thanks in advance. Anyway, let's move forward. Oh, look at this. Our beautiful apple trees are currently in hibernation. I'll oh, get some good rest. You've done a very good job, apple trees. And look at this, guys. I actually uh, played a bit and uh, I found a bone sword. And uh, yeah, look at that. It says it has like 20 to 30 damage and plus for speed and also plus two weight. <laughs> this is such a wonderful find in the caves. And also I think we've already almost reached eight level, level 80 in the caves. And we've delivered uh, refined quartz uh, to Demetrius. And we got like 150 gold, not bad. All right, you guys, it looks like we're gonna go, go straight to the mines because I, oh, who's this? What the heck is going on here? Who's this guy? Ah, hey, don't run away, my friend. Don't be scared, although you are, you look scary. <laughs> what the heck was that? A shadow creature. Hmm, this is mysterious. He was here. He was like, oh, I'm not meant to be seen. Why can you see me? I should run away. <laughs> he looks scary or creepy, but he was scared uh, to us. Do we look that scary to him? Maybe he was just, maybe he was just caught off guard because, you know, he did not expect us to see him. All right, looks like everyone is cozying up in their homes, except for Marnie. Hello, Marnie. In my very first, oh, Leia has been a good neighbor. I can tell she has a deep appreciation for the natural world. And that includes animals, of course. <laughs> okay, uh, she wants this. Thank you. Also, oh, Leia, hello, my girl. Hello. Ah, oh, she's so pretty with her winter outfit. I love the way everything looks when it's covered with fresh snow. Same here. We are of the same soul. Uh, you want something yummy? Yeah, here you go. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. 
<laughs> and Robin is in need of a red mushroom. We don't have one, but we'll just accept it. Also, uh, on the third day, our buddy Linus, it's his birthday. Nice. Hopefully, I won't forget. <laughs> Let's just do some dumpster diving. And uh, also our uh, task, guys, I was actually thinking of getting a horse as soon as we can. Oh, hold on. What's this? What's this guy doing here? Is there something that we can interact? This one outside uh, Pam's home. Oh, there you go. What's this? A rotten plant? Eh, we a rotten plant. Oh, we have a cutscene here. It's so dirty here. She's also always depressed. Are you in some kind of a of trouble? Penny. Hi, Penny. How you doing? Snack. Oh. So sorry, it's such a mess. I was about to clean up. You'll help me. You really mean it? Sure, sure, I'd be happy to help you. I'll give you a hand. Hopefully this will make you feel better. Okay, where do we start? Okay, can you can get started over there. I'll clean the kitchen. Absolutely, looks like there's a lot of mess here. We have a cup and a uh, clothes here. I think this is all uh, her mom, pa Pam's clothes. Oh, look at Pam. Pam is here. Oh, oh my, oh boy. I can sense something is not good. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> she is so mad. Stop it. And I, I had everything just the way I like it. Oh man, she is. She is. She has uh, some sort of an anger management issue. Mom, the house is a total mess. Snack and I were just trying to tidy things up a bit. <sighs> were you at the saloon just now? You smell like beer. It's none of your damn business where I go. It is my business. I don't want you destroying yourself. Don't you realize your choices have an effect on me? Stop being so selfish. Selfish? I put a roof over your your head and clothes in your back and you call me selfish you ungrateful little low oh, no don't do it <laughs> you'd better go i'm sorry you had to see this kid he's a nice young man but i don't want you telling others to clean up my house it's embarrassing you understand yes mother i'm gonna clean it up anyways <laughs> wow that, that was some some kind of a scene man anyway uh hey uh penny i i understand that you're upset and uh maybe your your mom is just going through something and i'm i'm pretty sure that everything will be fine soon so have to bear with it and uh, don't worry i'm here I, and i always am available to listen okay and uh oh the 25th will be having the feast of the winter star it's one of my favorite events uh, it's supposed to be a time to show gratitude for all the good things in your life but for most people's it's just a time to relax and exchange gifts all right see you around penny okay man all right uh so going back uh oh we have here a new task from the new bulletin aboard robin's project uh he has she has a new idea style of bed but i'll need 80 hardwood i need a hardwood but we have here okay yeah we can go dive deep into the cave become a cave patrol to to, to take get rid of all those scary skeletons that throws their bones around all right let's get straight to uh gunters and let's donate this we found uh an interesting dwarven stroll i think this is a third all right we have a lot of books but i'm so i'm i'm a bit lazy reading the books for now i'll just have to hoard all of them and read them all at maybe once or twice later and let's uh yeah well, well i was i was saying earlier is that uh, our next project you guys is that uh, I really wanted to move around in our uh, town a little bit quicker and more convenient. So that means I'm, I'm actually aiming to craft a, or no, to build a stable. Let's see what we could upgrade though first. So we could, oh, a golden axe. Uh, I think this is the next one because it will give uh, back 15% uh, of our reclaim value of our, the things that we need, we are going to be throwing in a trash can. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, but we need wood, a lot of wood for the uh, stable. And also one thing, we've upgraded our bag. Look at this. I have now a third a line of slots in our bag which is really good and uh, look at that the top left we have here abigail hello abigail hey, hey, hey i have something to tell you i heard i heard i heard that uh oh where is that oh well fall is over but i like winter too <laughs> that is some kind of that's the quickest mood swing swing i've ever i've ever experienced from someone else aside from mine <laughs> all right see you around enjoy winter oh we have here a snow yam nice all right guys so uh let's check out uh the place where i could i really wanted to see and also we're gonna be uh guess what we're gonna go to the caves can't wait ah that's why there are rotten plants kids uh winter okay i see i see 
So now we are here in this place where I really wanted to check. Um, I really wanted to grow, uh, to make a barn as well, but uh, my priority is to move around the town again quicker. So I need to, uh, yeah, we need hardwood and uh, five iron. Hardwood and iron. Okay, so looks like we're gonna go to the dark forest, right? I'll let me give you something really yummy. Hello there. Thanks. It's really nice. Uh, I, let me also give something for you, my guy, Demetrius. Thank you. This is very special. <laughs> this is a very special in the specimen as always. Okay, it's 4.30 p.m. Looks like <laughs> time flew so fast I didn't even notice. Ah, what is this? This is new. Oh, uh, oh wait. Powder melon seeds. This is new for me, especially uh, that I'm a new Stardew Valley player and I'm so happy uh, the, the, the Stardew Valley community was so welcoming. Oh, look at that, you guys. We are now at the level 80. Yes, so it looks like we're uh, going down to the mines, the mag magma mines. I don't know how it's called, but uh, yeah, magma mines. But also we have this weird chest uh, we, that gave us two uh, copper and uh, gold. <laughs> Golden nuggets. We're going to be rich. But again, thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. If you don't mind me asking, please do help me uh, grow the channel by liking and subscribing, as that would really mean a lot to me as well. And that would also push the video to other people who might be interested and need to play Stardew Valley to make them feel, feel better as well. So that would be great. And also, again, uh, thank you for those who uh, enjoyed watching the last few videos that I uploaded. Uh, it seems that it was very well received. <laughs> and uh yeah i i you know you just you're creating a video uh, it, it may look look fun although it's fun but if you uh try youtubing it takes a lot of time and effort and resources as well especially if you are oh hold on this guy here <laughs> we got tricked this is what you get so especially if you are a dad a working dad and you need to crunch the time to manage the time well so it really is is a really good thing and it really makes us feel better not only for me but also to other youtubers every time you, you guys enjoy our video so that that will make you guys our number one source of inspiration oh boy we are now in an infested area what is this guy doing here wait this guy is very strong i almost got one hit by this guy here at the right side with the mask i tried to to hit him with my bone sword and i didn't even there was a time that i did not do damage what is this guy is this a boss it looks like there's a lot of bats here and we're taking a lot of damage here we need to run away i think oh boy all right uh we, let me just regenerate a bit you know what from level 80 going down it's it's getting trickier because it's not that easy anymore. These guys pack a punch. Maybe I just stay away from this guy with a mask. I don't want to lose all my things. Ah, ah, ooh, what was that? Oh, there's a lot of seeds here. Powder melon seeds, uh huh? Hey, uh, uh, what? I'm gonna attack you. Oh, okay. Oh, a void. He's a void creature? That is weird. So it looks like it, although he, he has a lot of damage, he has a very weak de def defense. So. We have just have to quickly get rid of him like a ninja. 84, one more level to go. Oh, look at this guy here. We have another, another shadow creature. Is this the guy that we saw earlier? Void Essence. Oh, this 80, uh, the, the level 80 mines going down. There are void creatures. I'll just call them that way. And also we have a lot of gold here. It's going to be worth it, although it's kind of dangerous, more dangerous than the above levels. Uh, uh, but we just need to be more prepared next time. I only have a fried egg and uh, uh, maybe we're going to invest on food. And uh, let's see if we can buy some some armors from the adventurers guild if there's any if it's gonna be worth it as well uh let's say hi to this guy i wanted to get your void essence now we're sleepy let's just head straight down just perfect time for us to get to the le uh, level 85 to the elevator and we're gonna head straight up to the surface and call it a day oh we have this magma geod nice and also a void essence it's a quivering with dark energy oh there's darkness oh, oh wait we have a genie shoes <laughs> a curious energy permeates the fabric this is fun plus six immunity and plus six defense so this is perfect for for uh creatures that can kill us with uh magic i think that's what immunity means like magic resistance if i'm not mistaken 
please correct me guys in the comments that would really mean a lot to me oh this is awesome we have five gold bars we're gonna add more of them you know what i've been carrying this watering can we don't need this for now because we're not going to be planting anyways all right it is a wrap let's go oh i see this is this powder melon seeds it's a special melon that grows in winter it only takes seven days to grow. Nice. Maybe we could uh, plant all of it and uh, uh, make uh, put some in the seed maker. Now it's 1 a.m. though. Let's uh, I'll just do it real quick. Uh, we're going to plant this tomorrow. So we have things for the community center, the fire quartz for the geologist. Oh, uh, we already have the egg. You also have the snow yam for the winter foraging. All right, time to go to bed. And today, uh, the spirits are in a good humor. Perfect. We're going to go mining again because I can't wait to explore the deepest of the mines. Uh, the, the creatures just got me intrigued. Uh, they got they are being they got stronger. Not only that, they got stranger because uh, instead of those weird skeletons, we now found people or uh, creatures that are from the void. Oh, what could that mean? Okay, Penny, sorry about what happened at my place yesterday. My mom can get into a bad mood sometimes. Please just forget it happened. Oh, sure, Penny, it's fine. I'm here to listen. Don't forget. So we got an email from Robin or a mail. <laughs> hey, Snack, just wanted to let you know about a new item I'm carrying. It's called a wood chipper. You can use it to break hard wood into several pieces to regular. Oh, this is extremely useful. I know wood can be hard to come by in the winter. So if your supplies get slower, consider picking up one. Sure, absolutely. So let's see, Willie. Uh, hey, I've got a little challenge for you catch me a squid you could fish him from the ocean at night they only show up in the winter though okay sure sure willie uh let's see i really wanted to go to the mines and plant before we do that let's plant these melons our powder melons right oh let's say hi to our chickens first oh yeah i forgot i'm supposed to buy a heater for our chickens i'm so sorry my my children my yummy children <laughs> All right, thank you so much for these eggs. Here's your hay. There you go. Enjoy. Munch, munch. So we're just going to go ahead and make the lovely beds for these seeds. Let me just get rid of these posts first because it's just uh, blocking the way. Let's just lay down these basic fertilizers. Hey, hold on. Since we have this uh, powder melon that we could plant during winter, is there like new uh, seeds that Perry has that we could also plant during winter? Oh, that's my question. Uh, after this, hopefully I won't forget. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I overdid the tilling of the soil and it looks weird anyway. All right, there you go. Ah, uh, we still need to water these uh, winter seeds. Okay, now let's head straight to... Nice, uh, so we have like three fruits from the cave. Oh, uh, we have a new uh, apricot fruit. Thank you, Mr. Bats. And I gotta say that the, the grass, especially the blue grass, just looks so magical in winter. And look at this, you guys. We have uh, this uh, crystal fruit. Uh, this, I think this is gonna go straight to our... Uh, well, I was thinking uh, that this is one of the community center's requirements, but it's not. And let's head straight to Marnie and finally we could get our chickens. Oh, except that Marnie is not around. Where the heck are you, Marnie? Better luck next time. Oh, let's say hi to our darling Leia. Hi, Leia. How you doing? I have something yummy for you. This is it. This is a really nice. Yeah, it's always nice for you. Uh, I, I have this salad since all and i haven't given it to you actually I, hopefully it's still good it's not rotten nah she's she's we've already given too much gift i guess nature can be pretty harsh in winter it still provides enough for us to get by yes 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 you are totally right all right so we still have a lot, a lot of fruits that we can eat uh, let's just head straight to the mines hey 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 hey, hey. oh hi abigail doesn't the steaming hot cup of cocoa sound good right now yes it does oh you like apricot here you go my dear how do you know i was hungry <laughs> she's happy just happy with an apricot. Oh yeah, I mentioned that uh, we can we actually need to upgrade our tools or our uh, gear so we'll be more prepared going down to the mines because I feel like it's getting more dangerous. The enemies has been getting stronger and stronger. Look at this, guys. We have a set of weapons. We have this black sword, Templar Glaive. Once owned by an honorable knight, its blade will give you small extra sense of you know small sense of security. Oh no, is there such thing as small sense of security? It should not be small, man. It should be huge. Oh, this one is cool. Steel Falcon. Falchion or Falcon? Falchion. It is a light, deadly blade reserved for brave adventurers. Oh, that is us. Who have proven themselves deserving. This weapon is ideal for swift, fatal attacks. 
Nice. Elf's Blade, the blade crafted by the nimble hands of an elf. It boosts a very sharp edge, good for fatal hits. Okay, so we could buy uh, which one? Oh, well, we have a wood mullet. A claymore. This is huge, man, but uh, it will slow us down. I'm not really a fan of uh, items that will slow us down because I am a speedster. I, I would like to be in a better position first before striking. And if you have, if you are fast, then you, you could fulfill that. This one though is good. Templar's blade, but our current weapon is stronger because uh, the bone. Yeah, this one, this is our current weapon, bone sword. <laughs> we just found it uh, in one of the uh, skeletons. Oh, we have a combat boots. Plus, looks like we have a very good gear already. Just have to uh, make sure that uh, we won't die. And uh, I'll just make sure that I have enough skills to dodge the enemy's attacks if I can. Okay, let's head straight to the to the mines. Oh, right off the bat, we have this. Oh, I forgot. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to get to get my weapon. <laughs> I forgot to get the weapon. I'm so noob. Okay, time to go to combat. There I go. Take this. Aha! We cut him in half. The shadow was cut in half. Now we can peacefully mine these stones. And oh, I just noticed that the slime is now red. Looks like uh, it's the slime do uh, adapt its environment. Now that we're getting nearer to the Earth's core, could be that there's magma below. We're getting nearer to a magma. Uh, uh, hold on. We cannot take both of them at the same time. They, they're kind of strong. Uh, rush to like a ninja. Let's get him. Let's get this guy. Haha. -ha. We get a warp, warp totem going to the farm. This is really, really, uh, can we use that uh, if we are in the mines? I could, that would be really convenient if for, especially uh, if we are in an emergency case. Okay, I have to think which tool to upgrade. Uh, maybe we'll be upgrading our axe. No, not the axe, but the pickaxe. So we could go quickly to the mines, down to the mines. Ah, oh boy, he almost got me. I was low at health. No, no, I have full health though, but uh, again, I was like almost got one shot by that guy. One more shadowy creature here, more void essence. I wonder how we're going to use it or what purpose these void essences are. Oh, what's this guy? This, this, is, this, this one is new. It's my first time seeing this enemy. I think this guy is going to explode. I have a feeling that it's going to explode. It looks like a bombshell. Uh, one hit. Oh, it has a lot of armor. Okay. Okay. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to explode, but he didn't. Wait, someone, someone's in the door. Just a minute, guys. Oh, looks like that was the pizza guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's continue in our journey uh, towards level, uh, let's see, level 90. If we can, we only have like, uh, let's see, our, our logistics. We have a white algae. Algae, oh man, I'm so bad at this. I've already uh, Googled the pronunciation of this. Let me let me Google it again. Algae or algae? I always forget. I don't know. There's something wrong wrong with my brain. All right, it's pronounced as algae. So I should, I, this should help me remember. If I see this uh, algae, I should think like happy and gay algae. <laughs> yeah, that's how I remember things that I don't remember. Hopefully it works let's get rid of this guy first the slime oh there, we have three enemies i cannot take down three of them at the same time this is very dangerous you guys ah what oh i was close anyway ah there you go i'm a i'm a fighter i don't run away from enemies we got a crab nice algae this is a white algae we have more gold nuggets here <laughs> we have a lot of gold People's gonna love us because we're rich. Oh, uh, this guy here has uh, some kind of a helmet. I don't know what kind of creature was that. How I wish uh, there are some label of these creatures. In the meantime, let's get more golden nuggets. And I'm just so happy that uh, the creatures below level 80 don't have the ghosts. This ghost is just so annoying to deal with. I think we could reach level 90, guys, right? Let's see. It's already 12 a.m. We're sleepy. All right, we have the ladder going down, but we have a golden uh, ore here. Uh, let's get rid of this guy real fast. Oh, he's running away. He's running away. No. No, it's what? It's now 1 a.m. I'm willing to faint, but not inside the cave or I lose my items. Ah, oh, we're so lucky. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ for that. We are now level 90 and we got... Oh, we have an obsidian edge. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a level 6 sword. It's incredibly sharp. <laughs> It deals 30 to 45 damage, but it will lower down our speed. That's fine. That's the, the and then it will add the plus crit power. The minus one speed uh, is easily justified by the damage we get. So we could get this. We could equip this guy here. 
And let's head straight home and uh, let's celebrate our find. Let's craft more golden ores. All right, we have five gold. Look at that. And also 12 silvers. And let's head straight home. Can we make it on time? Yes or no? Let's see. This is why I need a horse. Because I always faint. Always faint. Like 90% at the time I faint. <laughs> each day look at this and we just fainted guys <laughs> not bad but it's worth it we got uh, an obsidian sword and those kind of stuff so we have here oh we can now level up we're now level five in combat we can choose a profession is fighter and scout uh all attacks deal 10 more damage and the scout critical strike chance increase 50 percent this is a uh, fighter is good because it's a reliable 10 percent more damage but i think uh in the long run we get uh, to have higher critical chances and we get more uh, fire power with this so i think i'm gonna go ahead with scout critical chance deal more power critical chance is the best way to go i think i'll take my chances all right we are on the third day of winter greetings it is i the queen of sauce here to teach you a new mouth recipe from my secret book baked fish all right thanks for that and today is gonna be uh the spirits are also in good humor today looks like we're gonna go diving into mines again and we also found these uh two powder melons all right we've already watered all of them and this crab right here uh is gonna go straight to our fridge inventory inventory management is my best friend you guys aside from side by side with uh watering the plants so every time i do this i feel so productive and my muscles my muscle memory is taken to the extremes and oh man <laughs> this is so cool obsidian edge I think we could still uh, upgrade this because it's only an edge. Could be an edge of something a lot more powerful, right? Right, you guys? So, uh, man, <laughs> Ooh, this is so cool. I can't st stop uh, staring at it. Okay, look, look, thank you so much, Georgia. But you, why you, you would I need to pay a thousand gold for the service? If Linus has found us, we don't pay any penny at all. Hey, Eggnog. Oh, you're not feeling cold? Hi, right, bro. Thank you so much. Eggnog, you get a hard wood. That reminds me, I need to go to the uh, dark wood, dark forest. It's 7 a.m. And also, before we do that, uh, I, we, we'll go ahead and visit uh, Marnie. Is we really need to uh, to get these chickens a very cozy place to live in especially during winter all right here's some food for you i know i know thank you so much for being so patient you guys you guys miss the grasses outside yeah uh, that's fine uh i'll try my very best to give you uh very nutritious hay i know but it doesn't compare to the the freshness of the grass is outside but that's fine i know you all is gonna gonna get used to it i know it maybe it will just taste like the normal grass is outside don't you worry you little chickens i'll just uh, go ahead and make sure uh, that you're warm and comfy during winter hopefully Marnie is at her home so we could grab that heater aha here you go yeah i'm looking for the supplies oh there you go a heater and a auto grabber this is very handy if we have a lot of animals in the farm mm, we also have a dog house it's too expensive though and also a cat tree <laughs> This is so cute. And a bir bird house. Nice. Oh, what is this guy here? Uh, Crocus. All right. Okay, now to test. Can we open the dark forest using a steel axe? Let's see. Aha, we can. <laughs> awesome. Finally, we are. We're going to be opening a new adventure for us. Welcome to the dark forest. Be careful of these limes. We have a mahogany seed. Also, we got ourselves a holly. All right, not bad. Finally, we have some hard woods to chop and more powder melon seeds. Oh, we have a statue here. Oh, this looks weird. This looks like an old uh, geezer. Hmm. Old man. Oh, he's a, he's the old master cannoli. Still searching for the sweetest taste. Ah, this guy is a foodie. Haha. <laughs> How come he is in this dark forest? Maybe he ended up here and then discovered this place, or maybe he died here. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out later. Uh, in the meantime, let's uh, explore at the back of this Mr. Master Cannoli. Nothing here. And there's a small pond right here. What kind of fish could we? we get uh, i'll fish later on for now i need to to get all these hard woods and quickly so we can still have time to mine man I, i'm so excited to go deeper into mines i wonder what kind of uh ores minerals we could get and also enemies to, that we could encounter all right that is it aha nice so we got like 21 hard wood from that run if that is the only source of hardwood we have, then it will take ages for us to get like 
400 or 300 hardwood for the stable. Is there any other way we could get the hardwood? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm not sure if I have the patience to. Anyhow, let's... Uh, I'll don't think about that. I'll just enjoy the game and... Uh... One day I'll wake up that I have enough hardwood to build a stable. Well, the most important thing is that uh, we're gonna give our chicken some love today by installing this heater right here. Aha, uh -huh. they should be very happy with this. So we have like 48 mayonnaise and uh, plus, yeah, we have like four, 50 plus. Uh, I have a lot of gold. What can we do with this? We're gonna sell this mayonnaise to have a lot of gold. And this crocus is going straight to our chest, uh, bundle chest, community bundle chest. And look at this, we have seven more powder melon seeds. Seven more. This is fun. We get to plant seeds still during winter. Perfect. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at this. We can now craft a mushroom log. Nice, because we have like 20... We have 10 hardwood. Gross mushroom every so often. The more wild trees are nearby, the better it works. However, it's winter. I'm not sure if mushroom grows during winter though. I don't think they do because uh, there are no leaves to give shade to the mushroom. Because they strive uh, under the shade of a tree. Am I correct? If I'm not mistaken. So uh, with that said, I don't think there's going to be uh, mushrooms during winter because there's no literally no tree, no no leaves to sh give them shade. Okay, good. Now we've planted the, the powder melon seeds. We've uh, put a heater in our uh, coop. We've uh, gathered some hardwood. We've opened up finally the dark forest. It's 6 p.m. I was thinking of checking out Paris Place, but man, also going down to the mines, but man, it's 6 p.m. Uh, well, maybe we can. Why not? Why not? Let's go ahead and try. We have a new obsidian edge. I have, I put my trust in this sword that we could quickly dispatch the enemies so we could quickly go down in the mines. Let's head straight to the mines, guys. Let's go. I most probably I might need to invest in uh, bombs as well just to for us to quickly go down and uh, be more efficient and effective at mining. So uh, yeah, we could craft a cherry bomb. Like it requires four copper and one coal. But how about that huge bomb? Can we craft it? Not yet. Nada. So let's head straight now to our destination. Unfortunately, we don't have food. <laughs> what a uh, noob. Uh, we do have salad. Uh, let's try it out, you know. Let's try it out. Let's go. We're gonna be eating Leia's salad. <laughs> right off the bat, we have a golden ore. Perfect start. And also a stairs going down. Let's just get some of this first. Some of the chest and get rid of this guy. Okay, I would like to increase the speed of the tool when we swing it. It just saves time for me. So it says here suggested is times two. Okay, let's do it. All right. Uh, how about fishing? Suggested is uh, two as well. Let's do that. Harvesting default is by three. So we have a use of slingshot. Uh, suggested is 1.1. One, uh, one. How fast you swing your weapon? Suggested is four. Okay, why not? It will save us time. You know, I always wanted to, uh, as much as much as I won't, I, I don't like to really uh, break the game. But uh, I, my priority is to save more time so can I can spend more time with my family. And if I swing more the sword faster and also the tools and etc., I will have more time finishing the game or mining the the, the cavern or the the cave. Makes sense. So tree falling suggested is three. All right. Okay save and close look at that let's see how fast we could swing this weapon oh wow that was so fast man it's like we're an assassin <laughs> and also look at this the weapon that we swing it's very fast it's really good going down we are now on that level oh oh see that guy got us see that's how fast we swing this weapon Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm an assassin. This makes me want to kill all the creatures here. <laughs> we have this kind of attack rate of the weapon, uh, attack speed. Then uh, you're gonna go ahead and uh, do a hack and slash. It's gonna turn this this dude here. Oh, wait, hold on. What is this guy? Hey, it's first time we've met. Is that how you say hi to a new friend? <laughs> so this just we just turned uh, Stardew Valley into a hack and slash game, you guys. This is fun. Okay. What? Oopsie. That's close. All right. All right. It does a lot of damage, but very weak in defense. It's 10 p.m. I still, uh, I think we still have time to reach level 95. Uh, let's eat up a little salad. All right, we are now level 94. We can do this, you guys. We can do this. We can reach level 95. I have a feeling that we can, unless something goes wrong. We're now s sleepy. Hopefully, I won't faint again. Oh, I, I need to call Linus. Linus, if I faint again, I am in the cave, okay? Just get me. I don't want to pay Joja for the thousand gold just for helping him or... For, for them helping me which is not really helping me because they i'm paying for it it's like a service still it's like business they're turning service they're starting business everywhere uh, uh 
I'm hit. Uh, I need to stay away from this guy. It's 1 a.m. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're now at level 95. We gotta go up and uh, head straight home if we can. Uh, hold on. Hold on. All right, let's go. All right, that was fun. Increasing the attack speed uh, just <laughs> gets your adrenaline up uh, pumping. And I think I, I like it. I, I not like. I love it, man. It engaged me a lot. So anyway, if for more videos, you can look at the lower part of the screen. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please help me out, grow the channel, and we may always walk with patience and kindness. And I just fainted because <laughs> that's what love is. And don't forget to that Jesus Christ loves us so much. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Take some good rest, okay? So you won't faint like I did. Bye bye.